I never planned to have a collection. The collection made itself. My full name is Talal Yusuf Zahid. I have about 700 pieces of modern Egyptian art. This one is by Abdel Hadi El Ghazar. Abdel Hadi El Ghazar is iconic because he Egyptianized his European style. I started to buy a piece here and a piece there, and I continued and continued. And four years later, I found that I have a, a very substantial collection. Uh, uh, it's probably one of the most comprehensive collections uh, uh, outside of Egypt. All these paintings that you see are who's who in Egyptian art. This one is a very special one. This one is done by an artist, his name is Adil Siwi. He was not trained as an artist. Adil was trained as a medical doctor. And then he switched into art and he became a full-time artist. And then when I saw this painting, I had to have it, and I called her my African queen. To buy a painting, it has to meet two criteria. Number one, I have to like that piece. Number two, the price has to be acceptable to me. If I found the most beautiful piece in the world that I love, and the price was 5% more than I thought it's worth, I would not buy it. As I ran out of space, look at the stairwell. All art, up and down. Downstairs, I have my gym. It's full of art. Would you like to have a look? Look at these two paintings, the two large ones. All of them have equal value because I love them all equally. The laws of supply and demand, when they cross, they determine price. So obviously, if I am creating a small part of increase in demand, that will probably cause uh, sc a scarcity in supply, and that would be uh, cause a rise in price. So that rise in price would, you know, benefit the probably the economic market and the artist. But for me, I'm not looking at that for me as, as a person.